Bip, 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 bip. Bonjour, comment ça va? Euh, je suis très bien. Le songe est dans l'arbre. We're in France today. The beautiful country of France. Of wine, of food, of cheese. Welcome to the court of the EDI Jester. This is surreal. You don't think the world can get any more surreal? I don't, people say it to me all the time. Is it possible for the world to get more surreal? And my answer to that question is always. Always. Right? So now we've got the problem of French gynaecologists. Ooh, quel dommage. The fruit de mer. Right? It's one of the most beautiful languages in the world. I think it's the language of love. The Italians would shoot me for that. Because Italian is apparently the, you know, the language of love. But I think the French language is the language of love. That I'm an old romantic, aren't I? Be a warrior teacher, will you come and, you know, join the club? And um, buy me a coffee, usual stuff, right? This is, yeah. <laughs> In the dubris as usual, all right? French gynecologist ignites row over refusal to treat trans women. Right, so in France right now, they're having a row about whether or not a man needs a gynecologist. Oh. Oh. It's utterly surreal. It's utterly surreal. No, is the answer. <laughs> they don't need a gynecologist. They might need a pro Is it a proctologist? Does that, is it? Brace yourself. Is it? Is that a proctologist? I don't know. The bloke who puts his finger up your do prison fiddles with your walnut. <laughs> I can't help, I don't know what it is in my strange wee head, because of the way I think it's just weird sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me, fluey. Right, it's weird sometimes. But is having a gynaecologist for a bloke, right, like those old war films, like Colditz, you know, where they're trying to dig out <laughs> from, the, from the camp they're being kept in, and they end up in the general's office instead of outside the fence. Is that not what? Is that not what this is? It's not in here. Well, well, I have to say, John, that's an awfully big vagina. That's an awfully big vagina. Well, you didn't have to say it twice. I didn't. <laughs> Men don't have vaginas, right? Breaking news. <laughs> Men don't have vaginas, right? So a gynecologist is not somebody who goes digging around in the, you know, dilatable thing you've got between your legs, right? So this guy is poor fella. <laughs> you can just imagine, he's probably trained for years. It may be that you've been a doctor, his name is Dr. Victor Acherian. It's just surreal, right? So a French gynecologist has provoked a national controversy. How can this be a national controversy? The world's gone mad. Those of you listening to this, those of you on my Warrior Teacher Programme, and the other scrappers of the movement, you do realise we may be the last sane people on earth, don't you? Where's the mothership? Where's the mothership? Come and take me away. He's caused a national controversy by refusing to examine a transgender patient on the grounds that he is only qualified to treat real women. What a surprise. Guy the gynecologist. Clues in the name. Ah, ah. You know, if you want to get your thing, you'd be better off, wouldn't you? If you're, you know, if you're a bloke and you've got, you know, you've, you think you're a woman, you'd be better off with a spelunker than you would with a doctor. <laughs> For the non-Americans amongst you, that's potholders. Spelunkers. Not great words, spelunker. The Americans have great words. Where are you going? Spelunking. Oh, says the Englishman. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Could be a euphemism. I, it's, I feel like I'm surrounded by surrealism. It's just insane. So <clears throat> he responded by saying, I have no experience to deal with men, even if they have shaved their beards and tell my secretary they have become women. <laughs> Dr. Victor Archarian, who right now I love, right? Dr. Victor Archarian wrote a response to a negative online review posted by the patient he rejected. So this bloke, LARPing as a woman, went to the gynecologist. <laughs> Went to the gynaecologist. And then when he, when he, when the gynaecologist said, hey, mate, you haven't got a vag, right? <laughs> got so, got so offended he went over and wrote a review. <laughs> I came to you today with my fake family. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> it gets better, right? <coughs> LGBT groups across Europe. That was probably 12 phone calls. Well, I've condemned the gynecologist. And one has lodged a police complaint. This. Bonjour, c'est le gendarmerie. Ah, yes, is that the police? Oui. <coughs> I'd like to complain that a doctor won't pretend a man's got a fanny. Pardon? Transphobia is a reality with serious consequences. Yeah, serious consequences is that people might think your wound is a fanny. With serious consequences, particularly in access to healthcare. It's not healthcare. He doesn't need a gynecologist. It's not healthcare. It's pandering. It's pandering. That's what it is, not healthcare. <laughs> the French group SOS Homophobie tweeted, What? A Cherian later apologised on French radio. What for? Tell you the truth. I reacted excessively. I don't love you anymore, by the way. I reacted excessively out of anger because I felt that like I was being attacked unfairly. He said, my words were clumsy and I apologise to the trans community, which may have felt offended or hurt. <laughs> Tough tits. <laughs> I thank you. Woo. He said he had offered to refer the trans patients to a specialist who could provide appropriate medical care, but the patient had shouted, you're transphobic before storming out of his consulting room. This, you know, the, the behaviour of a man who isn't affirmed in his delusion. But I do have a vagina. No, no, no. Brian, come on. Brian. Pierre. Ce n'est pas possible. <laughs> no. <laughs> Je possesse. Is that a word? <laughs> Unfunny. <laughs> Brian, get out of the office. Pierre. Out the door, right? I thought I was being honest when I said it wasn't my speciality. I don't know how to treat trans people. <laughs> With a cattle prod on a net. <laughs> oh, you treat them for what they are, which if they're walking into your office as a bloke and asking to have a gynecological examination, they're obviously not right in the head. Right? So that's how you treat them. You, know, you go, oh, thanks very much, but no. All right, Margot, we've got a right one here. <laughs> He wrote a review. Oh, I need to lie down. The incident has polarised opinion and sparked heated debate in the French media. In a commentary published in the newspaper Le Figaro, Marguerite Stern and Dora Moutou, two prominent feminists, vigorously defended the gynaecologist, they wrote. Would we criticise a cardiologist for refusing to treat a plant fungus or a fishmonger for refusing to sell pastries? So why criticise a gynecologist for refusing to treat men, even if they declare themselves to be women? Well said! <laughs> he was justified in refusing to treat transgender patients. Aspasie santé trans. A trans... I'm going to get so told off by my warrior teacher who's French because my accent's so bad. A transgender health group said in a statement, gynecologists should treat trans women even if they have not had genital reassignment surgery or hormonal treatment. <laughs> you imagine the gynecologist... You know, it can't be the best thing in the world. I mean, it's not nice, is it? My mate, you know, tells me, my few, one of my only female friends tells me, you know, it can be quite embarrassing. It's, you know, like the, the doctor's down there having a prod, having a look, see what's going on, rather like when the men get the, you know, do front up the backside, but not quite so bad. Um, and, you know, the <clears throat> women, obviously if they're women, they come in, they come in all shades of the speculum. But this, <laughs> but this, this, wait for it, I've got to say it again. Espacier Santé Trans, a transgender health group, said in a statement, gynecologists should treat trans women even if they have not had genital reassignment surgery or hormone treatment. So he's saying they should treat men. Gynecologists would now treat men. Can you imagine? Right, okay, get your legs in the stick, right, you ready? I'm going down now. Nurse, speculum, you, brace yourself. <laughs> they're saying they should treat them. Even if they've got, you know, even if, they, even if, they're, even if they haven't got the wound, they're just men, which of course they always are. Even if they had not had... We need to deal with these nut jobs, and the French, I hope, will do something about it. Um, we'll see. Oh. God. That's what happens when you allow people to legally change their gender. See? Stop it. Stop it all now. But God, it's funny, isn't it? Just, you know. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> you 
to imagine. Madame, I'm going to put your stirrups. Madame, get some legs in the stirrups. Thank you very much. I have a couple. Nurse, the hat with a little, you know, miner's light on it. I'm going in. <laughs> and there's a mean two veg. It's just surreal. Absolutely surreal. Where is he going to put the speculum? Where is he going to put it? I, this is, it stops, right? This this has to stop all of it. Every law that's contained contains any of this has got to be repealed. Everyone. There is no compromise. There are no two ways. Game over, folks. We end it. We end it permanently. It must never, ever happen again. <laughs> but that's so funny. I'll see you later. Bye.